Hi, I'm James and welcome to another video. Today we're looking at something a bit different. The D&D Dungeon Mayhem card game. Uh, designed for two to four adventurers. Uh, it says on box eight plus. Um, let's see what we've got. So, first thing we've got is a how to play uh, rules. Let's have a quick glance at that. So, it gives you the contents list. Um, and nice and straightforward you choose one of the four characters and you've got Sutha the skull crusher who appears to be an orc uh, Azan the mystic human uh, Leah the radiant uh, paladin uh, Azan's a, a wizard by the way and then Oriax the clever who's a rogue um, and a tiefling so you've got four different characters there is an expansion pack with two more and if I enjoy this I might well pick that up um, so you pick your, your uh, character to the hit point tracker card, uh, hit point token and the reference card that match the desk, lay them out in front of you. You start with 10 hit points and then we shuffle the, the deck, put it uh, out the way face down. So that's looking straight forward. So everyone draws three cards, youngest player goes first, draw on each turn then you draw a card, uh, play a card from your hand by putting out the table in front of you. Uh, you can sometimes play more than one and we'll talk about that later on. Um, then Discard all the cards that you've played this turn unless they've got the, the hand symbol on to keep them there, okay? And then pass to the player on the left. Um, if you don't have any cards, you can you draw two more. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Um, so 10 hit points, and once you get down to zero, you're out of the game. Okay, this isn't exactly rocket science. Um, and it talks about winning, which is basically being the last player standing. There's different types of cards. You've got an attack card, which does damage, one point per symbol. A defense shield one. Uh, I wonder if that was a shield actually rather than a hand. Yes, it appears it was. Um, so they stay on the table and they basically absorb damage. Uh, any damage that gets through then goes on to you. Uh, draw cards, let you uh, pick up extra cards. Healing, which heal damage. And a play again card, which lets you um, play again. Okay, straightforward. So some of them have got more than one type of symbol on them. Um, and each character's got special abilities. Well, that's not the most complex set of rules. Uh, there's the tokens. We've got the four characters and the damage tokens to put onto the, um, the cards. So let's see what we've got. Okay, nicely laid out. And we've got two, yeah, two uh, decks in each of those packs. Uh, just check how many cards are. Yeah, 28 cards for each player. So let's open that up and have a look at some of the cards. So we've got the Human Mystic. Uh, he's probably a good starting point. So you're talking very much a wizard type character, I would have thought. Once we get into the, into the sealed deck, I always think that when I do one of these, I ought to actually... Uh, get two and then if it goes wrong I can always redo it. So what have we got? We've got Evil Sneer, gives you a health back and another action. Two Evil Sneers. Knowledge is power, drawing lots of cards. Okay, yeah. Mirror Image, so we've got three defense, Stone Skin. I like the fact these are named after D&D &D spells. So we've got Shield, which draws cards and gives you defense. Lightning Bolt, a lot of damage from that one. Burning Hands, yep, that does a fair bit of damage. Ah, uh, the good old Magic Missile. Quick spell, so you get one damage and an extra turn. Speed of Thought, gets you moving fast, yeah, okay. A product Touch, oh, swap your hit points with an opponent, that's a vicious one. Uh, charm, take a defense card the opponent has in play, it now protects you, okay. Uh, and Fireball, each player including you takes three damage, okay. So, shows what we've got and it's got the extra symbols for the ones that we had there there's the hit point token so that's the the mystic and we've got the wizard so the paladin we've got cure wounds divine smite look quite a powerful one uh, fighting words that's interesting whereas the the mystic was drawing lots of cards the paladin seems to be quite good on defensive so on um, healing and fighting which is about right Okay, for the most justice, for even more justice. I quite like the uh, the names. 
uh, for justice okay that makes sense divine shield yeah fluffy <laughs> okay that's a nice touch spinning parry finger wag of judgment i think these these have been written with quite a high sense of humor high charisma banishing smite destroys all of the defensive cards that's quite a nasty one and divine inspiration any card in the discard part put it into your hand then obviously another divine inspiration and then we've got the two standard cards so we'll look at the the other deck just so we can see what we we've got I'm guessing when we've got the Orc, it's going to be very much a nasty attacking deck. Lots and lots of uh, damage. Probably not too much defence with being a Barbarian. So two axes are better than one. Get an extra goes. Snack time. Flex. Yeah, it does seem to go through cards quite fast looking at this. There's a lot of, uh, of um, the green symbol there. So we've got opening the Armoury. Headbutting. Brutal Punch, yep, this is definitely an orc. Big Axe is Best Axe. Quite a few of them. Rage, that's quite, that's a lot of damage. Wrath, so we've got a, a, a Riff. So we've got some Wolf um, Psychics. Uh, Spiked Shield, bag, bag of Rats. Mighty Toss. Okay, Battle Roar, so this, players have to discard their hand. Uh, Whirling Axes, okay. Okay, that's an interesting one, where you heal one, but the effect is you uh, heal once per opponent and then damage each opponent. Oh, that's quite a nice one. Okay, and then we've got the um, the Tiefling Rogue. So we've got Cunning Action, even more daggers, stolen potions, uh, my little friend. The Goon Squad, so we seem to get a few allies with this one. Winged Serpent. All the Throne Daggers. Yeah, two Throne Daggers. One Throne Dagger. Sneak Attack. Pickpocket. Okay, stealing the top card off other players. That could be quite effective. Clever Disguise. And then the two standard cards so they're the decks what i'm going to do is i'm going to set it up and we're actually going to play um, a solo game just to see how it goes so i'll pause the camera and i'll set all that up so originally i was going to do this as a video with a playthrough what i've decided to do is i've actually done two playthroughs i'll put links to them in the description i just thought it might be more interesting to actually play those out um, separately because then you haven't got to watch all the unboxing to get the feel for the game. What do I think of it? I think it's fast, it's fun, um, be interesting to see with what the, what the extra characters add to it. Uh, I've played it there as a quick um, two-player game. You can play it as a four-player game, um, which would change the dynamics completely. But when you just you know, for the talk-throughs, I thought two two players would work well. It's quick, it's fast, it's not exactly like it's going to cost a lot of money to buy this. Um, I picked it up when it was on sale cheap. Um, and I've, I think it'll be quite fun because I think my grandson will enjoy playing this. I mean, probably my granddaughter. Um, she's coming up to seven, but I think she could cope quite easily with this. Uh, I get a feeling she'll go straight for the elf every time. Uh, but I, I've enjoyed playing it. I think it'll, it'll, it'll be even better when you've actually got a proper opponent. So. Hopefully you found that useful uh, and I'll see you soon for another review.